to get an application to Department of Commerce to uh, grant for the building reuse. Again, uh, with the hospice house, this is Chester that prepared this agreement for us, and you had asked us to uh, some time back to go and enter into discussions with the hospice house and this $100,000 grant application uh, that they will be pursuing from the Department of Commerce uh, building reuse program. We have since had Chester draw up a resolution uh, to that effect that basically signifies our support for Hospice House and Chester, if you would like to go over that. Yeah, just, a, just very briefly, um, you've already taken action as a board to generally support this project. What you have, though, is an application that says they don't want your general approval in minutes. They want a resolution with the specific things that are provided in this resolution set forth in the resolution. And uh, what they want is to make it clear uh, the, the grant that you're applying, the purpose of the project, that being to uh, assist in the renovation project for construction and development of the hospice facility in Mason County by Hospice House Foundation of Western uh, of WNC Inc. Um, that you fully support the project and that you're prepared to make a uh, cash match of 5% of the grant request for the new case of the 5,000 and uh, that you're authorizing your chairman. Uh, the actual draft that came to us had, uh, had you sign in it, but you do not need to sign it. It needs to be signed by the, the chairman of this board. Uh, there's some certifications in that application, and this would authorize him to complete, execute, and deliver, and to make uh, the requisite certifications in connection with that grant application. So we have several folks here from the hospice house uh, that work very hard. So they might, I want to make sure that they've read this and understand it. John, you can mm -hmm. support it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. John, you Thank you. John, or somebody we appreciate your support. This, in this economic conditions, it's really hard to raise money. You know that. So every bit of support that you give us, and this gives us another step showing that we have committed support in this wonderful project. Uh, we have people from other counties come in and they ask about it. So we're starting to get a lot more interest now. So we're, we're hoping that over the next Nine to ten months, that thing's on really going to step up. We appreciate your support. Thank you. <coughs> yes, just wanted to thank you all so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. I know that it's been a long, drawn out deal for you, and uh, hopefully it's over. <laughs> thank you. So I take it that the $5,000 match <coughs> would not be, that would be subject on the approval of rent. And it, it would be in accordance with the grant agreement, uh, which is a, it's going to be a long document. And your county manager has already uh, put in place the uh, individuals who will be riding forward on that grant agreement and <coughs> helping the county administer it. Uh, I, I think it's, I think you're pretty well set to take this from um, there'll be a few agreements that will have to be drafted there um, fallback arrangements uh, with uh, the Hospice House Foundation as well as uh, a company that will actually be um, leasing this facility or running this facility for the first season. Coming out like a motion we should do it. We support the resolution of the Lake County Board of Commissioners to support the authorized submission of an application to the Department of Commerce for a grant from this building. Second, I take just a little bit of housekeeping. Chester, I've asked you about this before. I think I'm one of five appointees by the government to the North Carolina Department of Commerce Rural Infrastructure Authority. I will be deciding on this grant. <laughs> yeah, right. right. We so, get to vote on it now. <laughs> so, do I vote on it both ends? I, I think you uh, I have are no obligated to vote on it on this end and you 
I'll let them advise you about what you are or are not. Under, under North Carolina ethics law, I have to advise them that I'm on the board of commissioners here and I voted to submit them. Yes. They may or may not ask me to see how vote. Yeah, and in fact, you, you by the terms of the uh, application process, have to sign that. That's what it says. So, and they will see that. Now, they'll see yeah. that. And I will probably speak to it in Raleigh. Right. But I probably will not vote on it. I will see that you get enough votes to you. <laughs> All right. I will vote on it here. Uh, any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Including the chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your patience. Uh, yeah, thank you for your patience. I know it's been, been a long time. We do need to get to Mark and. Uh, Finish up that application so it can be submitted timely for the uh, consideration. Yes, the name. I'm sure it'll get everything to you. Thank you. So, is that going to be on the agenda down there in May? Uh, yes. I, okay, we have a meeting next Thursday or next meeting. There, there's just a little bit of uh, additional work to be done on the the actual application. It's not a it's not a one pager, it's multiple pages. Yes it is. And uh, a little bit more work to be done on that and it's taking it the time for you to sign it, get it to them for the next round. Uh, we have uh,